Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be working on the Bonneville's transmission. We finally got the uh, input shaft that we need here. So uh, we actually, ZZP, or I guess the, the whole saga of all this is we got the input shaft from ZZP. It's a 4340 steel input shaft, stronger than stock. Uh, we sent it to um, Machine Shop to get these uh, Commons, actually. Teflon, Teflon rings put on. And uh, even before that, we didn't know that it needed these and that ZZP didn't install them when they sent them. So sent it out there. The grooves were too small for them to install them. And so the rings were just like sitting in there. They couldn't move and that yep. they need to move like this. And uh, so we contacted ZZP. They were no help at all. They nope. were just like blaming the transmission shop and everything else. And the people I bought the rings from, which ended and up being Triple Edge. They ended up telling us to send it to Triple Edge, even though it, they had nothing to do with this input shaft. And uh, they were like, yep, yeah, it's messed up. So they, on our behalf, reached out to ZZP and they actually responded to another actual, you know, company. And yep. uh, ZZP made it happen. Uh, Triple Edge sent that to ZZP. ZZP replaced it, sent it back to Triple Edge. They installed the Teflon rings for us and then now we finally have it. Yeah, so Triple Edge uh, sent it back to me and ringed it, no charge. He didn't charge me for the rings or for his time, so cannot recommend him like more than that. He is awesome, and uh, if you have any transmission parts to buy, go through him. And if you need an input shaft, I would recommend spending a little bit more on his input shaft rather than this two hundred fifty dollar input shaft. Yeah, the difference is went, a bit though. Went way way more trouble than the hundred and fifty bucks that I saved was it wasn't worth it yep so uh so i would buy his 300m input shaft instead of that yep so now that we have that we're ready to go ahead and install this i think what we do <clears throat> we might want to put some atf on it but basically stick it through here yep and that's where that is and then we have a nylon ring around here that we need to put on it uh it's somewhere around here it's just a tiny green ring here we are We'll just put that around there. The problem that we're having is in the last episode where we did this when we were moving it, all this stuff fell out at the back. So uh, we're running into some problems like uh, got the differential installed, but uh, it is definitely something in here is like not aligned properly. You might be able to hear the greediness. Something. I think like when it's lifted up like this, it's fine, honestly. This actually holds it in place. But uh, just from photos that we have, it looks like the input shaft is supposed to come out farther, or this output shaft is supposed to come out farther than what it is doing right here. So, uh, I mean, we're just gonna watch some videos and figure out what exactly we need to do to get this uh, back to where we need it. We might have to take the hub like out just uh, a out little again. bit and try and reposition it. Because Triple Edge, when I asked them questions about that, they said if the hub comes out, that uh, it's going to fight you coming back in. And I think that's exactly what it's doing. Yeah. So I think we're just going to have to play with it until it, it gets right. Because if you spin the input shaft, it doesn't feel like it's in a groove. And it it, it feels like it's just on the bottom of, of some of the grooves it should be in. And it's just kind of like s scraping on top of them instead of being I mean, in them. What we could do is kind of mock it up, get the input shaft in get the chain on and try turning the input shaft and see what happens here. Um, yeah, I definitely need to get that figured out. I'm not sure how like much this came out. It didn't come out totally far. I'm gonna get a flashlight in there or something. Yeah, we're just gonna So it's do, hanging loose now. Yeah. And we just need to like, maybe it can go back in correctly from here. So I think we're just going to mess with this, maybe review some videos, and uh, we'll cut back once we have some more progress or more information on, like, yeah. what, what we did wrong or what we're plan is. So I'm just going to go ahead and work on that. All right, guys, so we've taken out the uh, the hubs, I guess. These have clutch packs in them, and this is the front. And as you can see, the clanging we were hearing was these bands are just, like, kind of, like, floating in place. I have no idea how they're supposed to engage just farther down there. But I feel like if we can get that figured out, we can put these back in carefully and it should go back together fine. Another thing that we have is this output shaft isn't coming far enough this way from what we can see. So we're thinking that spring or that ring that we put on the back of the input shaft there uh, is preventing it from coming out far enough.
Got a little hot. You think that's from the heat my car produced or the heat from making it? No idea. So that all looks fine, I bet. Or not, I I'm kind of thinking that you see these right here, Davis? Yeah. These teeth? Right here? Yeah, I see them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they go in between here. And that's how it locks. Well, let's give it a shot. It might have come out when it fell. Yeah, I think... Oh, wait, still, like, so is that like... like yeah, what the fuck? And the, this band, does that go over there and hold it on or some shit? It did go around it. So. <clears throat> yeah. Here, we might put down the camera and get this in place here. So I think we made a little bit of progress with this. Uh, this band, there's actually a dowel that sits under here that holds it in place. And then you can as actually see right there uh, that piece probably goes down and uh, it travels and locks something. Also back there, this thing right here, uh, it was pulled out and kind of drooping. So I lifted it up and I pushed it back and it kind of locked in place. So it actually feels pretty good now, as well as this cage. I got that back where it needs to go in its grooves. It's gonna be like really hard to see on camera, unfortunately. But uh, as far as I can tell, we're good. I think we should go ahead and push these back in place and see what we can do. I don't, don't jam it out. Here, put the camera light back in. Okay, I think that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff through if you wanna hold the camera. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, let me, let me, let's like, let the camera see that. Yeah, we have all these clutches that's in That's one there. of the hub. I feel like we just popped that shit out. Oh, we'll take it back out. Here, let me adjust how I'm sitting. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's gonna be a bitch then. Yeah, it is. Yeah, see these. Yeah, I totally see. The uh, came out with it. The uh, this thing fell out again, unfortunately. It's supposed to go all the way back there. That thing there. is like not really good on there too. Like it locks in place. We might need to get a uh, light in there. Yeah, so I, I'm doing that, but I feel like I can't even see it. I might set up the camera just to see. Oh, like there we go. That band looks like the reverse band. Possibly. Just so you guys know. Pretty sure that's what it is. I didn't get a good picture of the forward band, so. So you got that locked in place? Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Let me I give can... it another. You turn it? Yeah. Yeah, so those gear. It feels those... like it just wants to come right out. I think those uh, clutches are supposed to line up because you see these teeth on here. Fuck. Well, let's. Did that band come off? No, it did, I think. You might be able to just Can you get your hand in? Yeah. All right, guys, uh, we got this pretty much back in. Uh, we're gonna stop messing with it. As far as we can tell, we got that cage thing in the right place and the band. And all the clutches aligned, we took it all out, made sure all the clutches were straight, everything went in straight. So, as far as we can tell, it's... What a huge mess. Wow. This has been... Yes. So, uh... Davis has bled on multiple fingers, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that one. And, and last time we did this, too. So, <laughs> what we're going to try doing is we're going to put the sprocket and chain on, mm -hmm. and then turn it and see how it sounds. Because right now, it actually sounds fine. We're going hear the clanging, like we did with that cage I was out. Oh, now we do. God damn it. I don't know if that's just how it sounds. Basically, what we've done is just gone through here and made sure it's like aligned. So we might just need to do that one last time. Shit. Well, it was. It wasn't making no clanging noises. Try now. See, that sounds fine. I don't hear it It all. also takes a, a good amount of effort to actually fucking do the input shaft needs to come back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, do it now. Push it in. That's pretty much as far as it wants to go. Try pushing again. That, okay. That's... Okay, cool. That's the other thing. It's just like this doesn't come out extremely far. Yeah. I don't know if it's that ring on the differential. I think it could be that ring. I don't know what else it could be. 
I, I say let's get this. Uh, we might need something. Wait, uh, is there something on the bottom of this? Yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, so you, well, let's get the chain out too. I've also been using assembly lube to kind of hold things in place. Not like extremely successfully, but uh, just an idea. As much as we can. The video that we watched, that's what they recommended. Should we do this for the chain? All these gears? Yeah, put it on that one. Okay. This one can Here, stay I'm on. Where let this hang. Where's the lube? Oh, good lord. There's lube everywhere. There. Might need to turn this hub a bit. Yeah. Oh, that, okay. Yeah. That should be easy. That should be good. Damn, this, this chain is stiff as fuck. Yeah. Come on, bro. Here you we go. go. Ow! I just punched the shit flutter. <laughs> It's the angle. Yeah. We might need to take some of this stuff out. Wait. Oh. Oh, there we go. There. And then. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Why are you slamming? You can't go all the way. What do you mean? Do you see the difference? See the angle of the chain? Well, that means it seems to go in more. Yeah, it does. Fuck! Trying to buy a new one. All right, well, that kind of answers our question. This just needs to go in farther. We just need to figure out how to do that. Yeah, I mean, like, as far as I know, that's supposed to be, like, yeah, right it's here. Yeah, it's supposed to touch it. So that's got to come, like, half an inch all the way. Yep. All right, guys, well, we're going to work on this and see about getting this hub in more. God damn it. That's about what we need to do, though. All right, guys, so we got the chain on. Uh, we were actually even able to push us in farther. I checked the band and that cage thing. Everything looks engaged. When we spin this, we're not hearing anything bad. To me, it sounds like it did before. That rattling is just the chain. It's just... Only thing that I can see though is it might not be absolutely straight. It looks like this side can come in maybe just like a couple of chain links, like that much, maybe like two millimeters. I just don't know. It looks fine to me. Also, this can come out farther and it can it can be straight. So I I just don't know. If you guys know in the comments, uh, let us know, I guess. That's about all we can do for now. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and just continue with this, I think. Nothing sounds wrong. The It's spinning the output when we spilled, spin the input. So uh, I think we're just gonna proceed with it for now. So uh, next, I guess, uh, yeah, we can put the diff cover back on. I'm gonna put this nylon ring on the input shaft real fast. Side right there. Just so it doesn't fall out. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, we might need to review some of our older videos. I think we will have to do that. And we got all, we got all new gaskets. Yeah. Pulled this put those one clutches off. On. Oh, that's right. Those clutches we've seen to put back on. Place all the gaskets. Oh yeah, these. Yep. And then we need to check. These might be one of the ones that I uh, I got from Triple Edge. I'm not sure. That's fourth gear. Really? Yeah, those clutches are fourth. Okay. Then never mind. Yeah. We also uh, got the torque converter back. Now we probably should move it. It's got a little bit of droplets on it of water. Oh, yeah, we should. Look, it's gonna get, get water inside. <clears throat> I guess we should take a little break and show them some other stuff that we got. We got uh, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of uh, tranny fluid. Yeah, tranny fluid. Got and the transmission, uh, filter. transmission filter and uh, gasket for the pan. This one is the big one. It's a Davies Craig EWP 150. Looks like a turbo, but it is a uh, it's a water pump. It's so electric water pump. It's for the uh, intercooler system on the Bonneville. This thing on one inch line should be up to, uh, it was like 14 or 15 gallons per minute of uh, water speed. 
we do have some restrictions going into the intercooler. It goes down to three quarter of an inch. But it goes to like almost 30 gallons per minute on inch and a half or inch and a quarter well, of lines, right? No. No, that's that's like advertised. Like this thing's advertised at like fucking 40 or something, but it's uh -oh. not. It's not that. On one inch lines, it can get up to like 15 or 16 on uh, inch and a quarter. <clears throat> yeah. I think the max it can get up to is like 21 gallons okay. per minute. But there's a lot of things that go into it, like radiator size or like heat exchanger size, your intercooler size, your lines, any type of kinks. Stuff like that. Just putting these new gaskets on. Damn, the one, these ones are like nice. way higher quality than those. Are they metal? No, I don't think so. I think they are actually. Nice. Maybe put I'm some gonna, I'm gonna eat. ATF behind it or something. Just make it some tacky stuff on it. And uh, this engine lube uh, specifies on the back is also good for transmission and differential, uh, building. So this will dissolve in the ATF once it mixes. So don't worry about it. This stuff is pretty damn sticky. Yep. Surprised it didn't help us more with that cage, but it's whatever. That cage is the worst. If anyone has to take apart these transmissions, like, whoo. It's gonna suck. It's so bad. Unless you actually know <clears throat> what you're doing. That won't, won't suck too bad. I mean, we watched videos of guys doing it in their car. It, like, in yeah. the car, so. Not outside. Reasonably, this is, like, easier, I think, on the level of automatic transmissions go. I think this one's on the easier level. But uh, any automatic transmission is not easy. Okay, so this flips around, I think. Yeah, because that goes on here. That. Seeing that lines up there. We just gotta get our bolts, yeah, replace that gasket. Maybe we should clean like that. that off. Okay. I think it's fine, just with the fluid. That looks weird as fuck. Yeah, this is what like the actual cl like clutch looks like, but way smaller. Yep. That's weird as fuck. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened there. All right, go ahead and slap it in. So, should we wipe that no, surface no. off? No, you want, you want lubrication. Cool. Oh, yeah, so, like I was saying, in a previous video, when I took the, uh, the... and all the camera. The dipstick, not the dipstick, the, um, transmission oil pan bolt when I took that off and saw the metal on it and I said that's normal I didn't know like obviously that amount of metal was not normal because it had been grinding on stuff but like a transmission that hasn't been serviced in a long time will, will definitely have a bunch of clutch gunk is what they call it and uh that was not a normal amount that was not a normal amount but that wasn't clutch gunk either that was metal which I thought that was uh, I thought that was clutch gunk and if you ever look at your your uh, magnet in your transmission and it hasn't been servicing ever like on my Honda you'll see a good amount and that's like somewhat normal all right we need to get the bottom gasket on yeah but that was not normal all right guys we are back um we figured out where these go. We basically had to take the sprocket and everything off again to rotate this to get this in place. We also got the other black plastic thing back in there, got the clutches on, and uh, ultimately we were actually able to push this in uh, even farther. Uh, tapping. So, yeah, tapping it in. So that should be good. This should actually even be more aligned when you get that other side on there. Where the gasket that I had for that go? Uh, I think it's in that box. Now we are ready to finally put this in uh, and cover all this. Oh shit, stop. Look at that. Pulling the clutches off. Oh, fuck. Make sure it's not dirty. I caught it before it touched the ground. Shit. There we go. Let go. Don't place 
bitch. It's like too big to fit in this hole. That's what she said. It's literally just this piece right here that's fucking it up. What is the point of that part in in general? It doesn't look like it serves a purpose. Here, let's go. Oh no, you fucked the gasket. I didn't do it. Uh, both gaskets. Let go. Um, actually, that one's good. So it's this part that's like <sighs> janking it up. Why the fuck is it shitty? Good question. Why is this so shitty? It's like just not going all the way down on this side. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so we're gonna mess with this until we can just get it on. We're gonna put down the camera for now. Basically what we're running into, I think, is the alignment of this here. And this just keeps messing it up very hardcore. I have no idea why. Even though, even this, I think, needs to go in a bit farther, too. This black one fit better. Fits better? I think so. Okay, then we'll use that one. Alright, guys, welcome back. We've been messing with this for, like, an hour. We, uh... Reference the video and uh, help. well all he did was basically said this is one of the harder parts of this whole thing like putting this back together and what we saw him do is he got bolts on the right cover and uh, lined it all up one other problem we're having is with these clutch packs here that one like sprocket thing the whole thing that comes out it get pushed too far in it would drop a couple but I think we're good here I turn the input shaft and it feels good. So uh, I think that's fine. We just need to find our bolts and uh, get this going. We need to reference some of our video. We seriously need to reference our videos just to see where this stuff goes. Yeah, we should do that because we did. Uh, we were pretty specific in the video. Let's do it. Yep. Okay, we'll be back. All right. Not exactly sure where we left off. Um, we actually had some photos on our phone that uh, gave us reference to where all these bolts go. Uh, we're still actually met, even though we like set the bolts oh. aside for it uh we were still having trouble finding it so these are paper yep that's awesome we did the best we could with it um obviously some of these will need to change but we're at the point where we can go ahead and get the check balls in we also got the shifter linkage on which was uh, kind of hard uh -oh. basically there's a fork on this side of this thing that sits in and then this part that goes in and out uh we just needed to hook it in there so, should be good to go. And, uh, yep, now we're trying to... Ooh. We're going to be replacing these gaskets here. Because we bought some new ones. We've got to make sure we have the check balls in the right areas. I mean, I see a couple already that are in there. There's one, yeah, two... Yeah, we've got three, three or four, four of them. five. We've got, like, three or four of them in I here, or the other one. I see five there. And then there's four here. We so had could, 11 total, right? Uh, 10. 10. Sorry, we might be missing one, uh, or it might be in here somewhere. All right, so uh, we got the gasket on, and we referenced our photos and some other guides on where these check balls go. So we have all of them. If you look at it up here, there's there, there, right there, there, and there. And I think that's all of them for this one. I might not mention that one. And then on this side, these ones can fall out, so we just put a little bit of grease, but there's one right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Me and Davis are half suicidal right now, putting this thing together. Full suicidal. It is so about? irritating. So, uh... We're going to have to tighten this more. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. I think that once we, we have, get the valve body on it, it will tighten this up. We have all the bolts on this side that we took photos of. We still might need to scramble some around, depending on where they go, honestly. We shouldn't. I mean, we should yeah. have all of them. We also got the selector kind of in the right place. The selector actually goes in between here. So that's oh, and show them how it fits better. in specifically. Because the video already, already did. Okay. Yeah, so that right there. There's a fork that goes on this side, and it goes straight down into it. Into, like, a hole that keeps it in there. There's Otherwise, a hole it will not... through this. 
Yeah. Other otherwise it, it won't uh be able to like, yeah. you know, stand. And uh yeah, so we're pretty much actually ready to get this valve body on and get our uh bolts through. Oh, I think I know what the snap ring goes in. Oh. Uh, there's a there's a gold snap ring. I think it goes no. on here. I don't think it does. I think it does. I swear we'll have to watch the video again. I'm pretty sure it goes in there. There's actually so we don't know. We forgot about this thing. I personally think it goes behind the input shaft. I hope I'm wrong, but we're gonna have to rewatch the video. Because if uh, if it is behind the input shaft, then we're going to uh, have a new boat anchor instead of transmission. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and review the video, and then work on getting this valve body on. And after that, we just need to get the electronics on the pump and uh, the cover and this transmission should be done swap out the filter and should be good to go so we got the snap ring in it was very hard basically it's that that uh, gold pin what we did is we just got it over one edge and just literally had to wiggle it on kind of twist it on into it use a bunch of pry tools unfortunately we kind of Scrapped up the Teflon ring just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't really look like it picks up on camera, but I don't think it's going to be bad, but definitely not desirable. So now that we have that off, there's also another piece that we missed that needs to go on. And it's this bit right here. So just a seal or some, some type of thing on here. Just sits on there or on the reverse sits like that. This is how it'll have to be installed. Put some probably grease behind it to... Uh, I, I, hear the, I hear the concrete floors are good for the back. Yeah, I could just stomp on your back. So that's why I always sleep on concrete floors. Well, either way, I think we're good to proceed with this. Now to get this cover back on, which was a big pain, we literally messed with it for like an hour, but now that we kind of know how to do it, I think we could do it quicker. How how come, how, how can a hobby be so love and hate? Like working on cars. Well, when you own because shit, when we're doing shit boxes. It, when we're doing it, we're usually wanting to commit suicide. But then after it's done, it's cool. But yep. then literally the whole time doing it, you want to die. So what other hobby is this love and hate? No can't name. You can't name a more a more dynamic duo. All right. This bullshit. So we're going to get this cover back on. We'll, we'll cut over once we have that. And uh, yeah. People don't truly know what this transmission has done to us. It has taken so many hours. Yeah. One bolt has taken us four hours one time. It's true. It's probably more like three, but oh, that was a fun day. Alrighty. So we're going to get this on and cut back. All right. So we got the cover off. I think I showed you everything with that snap ring. It was a pain. We got this back in actually easier than we did before. Got everything set. Got the shifter back on. Got the pump in. All pump shaft. Planned. Yeah. All as planned. I should just I should just edit this so it looks like it went so smoothly. All right, so this goes on now. We have the check balls. Do you want to double check if we have them? I don't. I mean, I didn't so see any drop. So we got one. Yeah, I don't think any of them could have dropped out of here. There. Okay. Cool. We definitely need to get one of these figured out here. That is not the right size. No? Hmm. Yeah, that definitely needs to... You need to take an 8 mil to that to get that off. So we're going to reference the photos we have and uh, take this out, but everything appeared to go smoothly just now. <laughs> so... Appearances can be uh, misleading. Also, if you look at that, Tristan, that bolt that we put in right here, sandwich it more up in here yeah. because before we had this all we had were these bolts on this plate and then like two over here so this section right here was not completely snug together but now that's it exactly is exactly what we want i'm not that's sure that's too far yeah something like that probably better. i don't know why this was the bolt that came out oh well we got a myriad of other ones to test here let's try this one Yeah, it could be that. No, it couldn't be that gasket giving us double. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. Cool. So, uh, guys, we're going to go ahead and continue with this, get the bolts in. And uh, we're very, very close to getting the uh, cover on and the electronics put back on. So, 
we're gonna cut back once we have this bolted on. So uh, we referenced our photos that we took and we were able to get all the bolts on. Finally, this has been a ordeal. <laughs> Just to say the to least. Put it, put, it, put it lightly. Yeah. So now we need to get the uh, pump on. And I guess those are the bolts we use for the pump. I think so. I mean, they're the only they're, bolts they're that are left. left. And uh, we don't have our uh, 3 8 to quarter inch adapter. So we have to do this all by hand, which really sucks. How the fuck? What? Like, how the fuck do we even line up those gears? Hopefully they're just lined up. See, I remember when we put it on, this this plate sandwiches them. They're lined up right now, in there. Okay. And this, now Seems the tedious like... tag. Oh, that's a 10 mil. Oh, yeah. That's, there's only one of those. Oh, shit. Well, that's fucking, fucking annoying. Actually, there's, looks like there's. There's another one. Okay, we'll put the other that, one. That's the it, though. Or we should look at the picture. Yeah. But we're getting so close to putting oh. the electronics on and then the cover and Fucking finally be done me. with this thing. <laughs> Just kill us. I'm not gonna have fun going over these this footage and re-editing or editing all this stuff. Like, oh, it's gonna bring not. back PTSD. This thing's still gonna blow up once we turn it on. I hope it doesn't. Honestly, I wonder what I'll be more sad. Blowing this transmission up or the engine? Probably the engine. Yep. Engine definitely is good. I have my I have confidence in that. This, uh, I, I have good confidence in it, but who knows. What wait, wait. Happen. You have confidence that the engine will blow up or that it won't blow up? Let me rephrase. I have confidence that it'll be fine. Oh, so, confidence. okay. I have confidence in our engine building. I, I know about this transmission stuff, though. Yeah, I have more confidence in the engine. But I'm not, I'm not it, is no. a, it is a 166,000-mile engine that was flogged. So, a little worried about it. It'll be fine. All right, now I just need to get the... Uh, do we have a new gasket for the... Uh, yeah, it's right there. That's new? Nope. Okay, just reusing it. Uh... I have my concerns. It's really shitty. Yeah. Because it was sitting off the table, like... Drooping. Drooping. So I was able to get a bend in it. I think it's fine. This does this go up. Does this go over that once it's in, or does this go in before? I think this goes in like this. Oh, I thought that went and in the other the way. Cover, well, you know, you need to what plugs in that? Your transmission harness. Right. Is there a hole in the other... Yeah, okay. It's okay, guys. We'll look at the pictures once he plugs all no. of it. <laughs> yeah, and just everything's wrong. And I okay, let's uh, let's double check all all the bolts are in, all the plugs are in. Davis got everything. Uh, I think we're missing a bolt there. Where? Uh, the very bottom here. What bolt? Right there. Where? Right here. Oh, that? No. Yeah. Oh, that? That's fine. Well, didn't we have a bolt left over? Hey, look at that! It's probably that one. Yep. Is it 10? No. Oh, shit. I guess it's important to check if you have everything in. This, this whole thing would have been much easier if we were working on this transmission on like a, a workbench. <sighs> yeah, we should have put it back up there, but we didn't want stuff falling out like we did before. Yeah, I think I think part of the problem with how we do things uh, with cars and such is that you know we're working out of this you know small ass garage with a bunch of my shit in here as well as well as just random ass car shit. So um, if we had like a much better space to work on a workbench, this transmission, it would have been a lot better for us. Buy our stickers. Oh yeah, you'll help so us we, <laughs> buy. So things. we can uh, get our uh, t-shirts going and buy our t-shirts. And then, uh, yeah, just support the channel. We need a garage. If you're an artist, by the way, and you want to help us make uh, some t-shirt designs, definitely let us know in the YouTube comments yep. or email jerryrig at gmail. Uh, Wrwm.production. Oh, that was our first name. Yep. Yeah, I'm glad we, we didn't gonna, go with that. Originally, we were going to name the channel wrwm for. Our last name's Warner, Ricky, Wright, uh, Madsen. But, uh, that didn't end up happening. 
Because that would have been a lame name. Yeah, that would have been a huge lame name, especially production. But email's fine. I would have rather WR&W, but there's more than just those three. I like just how it rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Uh. Alright guys, we uh, pretty much did everything we wanted to do today. We finally got the transmission back together. Like, you saw, as you saw, the second we got the input shaft back, we just, you know, gunned through this. Yeah, we got it yesterday, so... And, uh, yeah, now that this is ready to go, I mean, we still have a couple of bolts missing on the cover, but it's whatever. And if we had known what we were doing, we could have, we could have gotten to this point in maybe an hour and a half. I'm thinking. Yeah, honestly, if we knew what we were doing, uh, as we do now, it would have gone a lot smoother. Uh, we actually have, where was it? Some trans mount. I'm not sure which part it was. Let's just go somewhere on here. We got some other mounts to put back on as well. That's one of the, uh. I think like that. Something like that. Some trans mounts to put on. Davis, I actually know what to do about that bolt. There you go. Yeah, put an ear plug in. Well, that's good. That's good. <clears throat> uh, we actually still need to put the new uh, filter on it, but that's not a problem. Yeah. So I have stuff with the engine to do, but uh, we're probably looking towards next weekend where we have the rest of the stuff that we need with the mounts, and uh, we'll actually start putting stuff back in the car. That's actually something that's uncharted territory with our channel, except with my 6 or 80 swap. That's funny. You know, taking stuff apart. You know, we're really great at taking stuff apart. Sure, a lot of people are, but uh, we'll finally start putting stuff back in. So uh, I think that's gonna go ahead and end off the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Think about, you know, pick up, picking up a sticker or something, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.